Extra Aha. Life. Welcome back to Extra Lives. We're amazing it up. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Just stop! I don't want to hear it anymore. Kill that guy. You're only here to kill people to make commentary on video games, just like the rest of us. You come in, 5 o'clock, you check in, you leave, you leave it's 9 o'clock, you check out, you take the morning train, and then you go back again. Those are weird hours. Yeah, I meant to say 9 to 5, but for whatever reason it came out 5 to 9. I don't know. Maybe you work at a fast food place and they only need you some of the time. You're part time, you gotta pay your way through college. Fast food sounds kinda good. I'd be down, actually. You, you do. want to grab, like, some Panda Express or Burger King later? Oh, I'm so down for some BK. Dude, let's go go. Let, let, I mean, I am... let's get going. All right, next episode, then? Uh, yeah, next episode, we get a Whopper Downey Jr. from BK. <laughs> Whopper Downey Jr. The Iron Man. The Iron Burger. Oh, gosh. Uh, here, let's just beat this level, though. We'll probably yeah. be able to in the next episode. I... Where am I going? I don't know, dude. 14 is always kind of a, it's always kind of a halting point for me at this level too. Ice that bitch! Ice that bitch! Put him on ice! Like Disney on ice. They call yeah. me the ice man. <laughs> Just chill. Nice to meet you. Real talk, I love that movie. Let's break the ice. Who doesn't love that movie, dude? It's so funny. <laughs> like, I get, I get that it was a travesty to Batman. But George Clooney and his little plastic bat nipples and... Which is freaking ridiculous because I would love George Clooney as Batman in any other sense. He's really? literally what I'd imagine Bruce Wayne would be like. He's yeah. what I imagine Bruce Wayne would be like, but not Batman. Yeah, okay, I guess Christian Bale makes a better Batman, so to speak. My but when God. I imagine Bruce Wayne in terms of voice, in terms of looks, in terms of behavior, it's hard not to imagine someone that kind of reminds me of George Clooney. I like Michael Keaton better as Batman. Yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't like Bale much. I'm not a big Christian Bale fan. Yeah, I guess. Everything that made those movies what they were, were the villains. Because Batman didn't do much acting in like the second one, which is widely considered to be the best. It was the I... reinvention of the villains, you might argue. Yeah, I actually didn't like the second the second one that much. Really? It's long and it's really slowly paced. Cause... The fast paced parts, though, they're nail biters for me. Oh, go down that hallway. I think that's uh, where you're... Oh, no, the other... Uh, either. Okay. Either or. Yeah, just go down a hall. Well, why not? <laughs> That's been our strategy thus far. <gasps> oh, I got the weird hiccups. That, like, you're trying to burp, but, like, your body kind of compensates for it by hiccuping. Yeah. It's a lot less manly than burping. A little bit, yeah. Everyone just knows. You can go in there and get the first jiggy if you want. But there are ten more Easter Island heads until we can beat the boss. Yeah. They have a little witty dialogue about, oh, I guess this is where this is. the game's gonna be pretty easy, if you know what I'm saying. Weep. Oh, no, that's bang, in the bang, other bang, temple bang. where they do that. But yeah, um, what I like about the Nolan trilogy, though, is it kind of reinvents all the bad guys, you know? Yeah, I can, I'm not saying they're bad movies. I just, like, I have trouble sitting through all of Dark Knight. Batman Begins has shaky cam action scenes that I just can't handle. Um, it's really hard to watch those fight scenes. And Dark Knight Rises has plot holes and Bane's silly voice. <laughs> that was probably the villain reinvention that I liked the least, because they forgot to mention that he's from South America. They totally left out the fact that, um... Well, they made him Arabian or something. Yeah, and they totally left out the fact that uh, he's, like, a drug addict to Titan, and he's basically useless without it. Well, I mean, they did that... Oh, no, go, oh, 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 clutch, quality, go right down there. Um, they did that with ice the that. mask. Ice this bitch, hang on. There's a bitch. Ah! <laughs> Surprise, bitch. Okay, so now you have never-ending eggs. Press B. Now just hold Z. <laughs> Can you imagine what that does oh, to wow. the digestive tract? Okay, after this, I'm pretty sure that's the last of them. Yeah! Nice. I was waiting for that hallway. But yeah, they, they did bring the mask back, which was kind of cool. And I guess the mask kind of had, like, he, he isn't feeling immense pain when he has the mask. Uh, yeah. Some shit like that. I don't yeah. know. But I much prefer him to be Hola, senor Batman. <laughs> Me gusta. I don't, I don't know that he ever did that in... Um, Not in the cartoons. In the Arkham games he did. And I, fucking, I was like, finally, someone understands. Oh, yeah. He was in 
Arkham Asylum. He was like Hola, the first Batman. Batman. Me like gusta la tortilla chip, señor. Yeah, no, he was, yeah. And then in the second one, Arkham City, you help him. Really? Yeah. Was that a side mission? Yeah. Huh. He's just like, there are too many tanks of Titan, and I can't have drug addicts like me wandering the streets. So you have to go around the city and destroy the tanks of Titan. Huh. And then when you come back to him, he's like, oh, gracias, Batman, for eliminating the problem. And then he tries to attack you. But then you end up doing the same strategy you did in the first one, which is pretty much just jump over him and wait for his dumb ass to run into something. The same strategy you did with every boss in Arkham, <laughs> in Arkham Asylum. Asylum, yeah. Arkham City was like a thousand going? times better. I don't know. Yeah. That's weird, because Moz hates um, Arkham City. I don't know why. I, I, I know why. I don't... He wait, no, you just came from there. Uh, go down that other hallway and press A at that stone thing. He didn't get the, uh, like, fast grapple, so... He I wasn't... liked the fast grapple. I did, too. Ice was... this bitch. I got that real quick. Just ignore that. Uh. You want to make it a challenge? Let's make it a challenge. Whoops, I forgot to press B. I pressed A. Bing! <laughs> I never understood what the timer from Banjo Tooie looked like. I think it's supposed to look like Grunty's head, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think okay. you're on the right path. Yeah, cool. turn right. I, oh, Here, let me let me figure this out real quick. Yeah, he didn't like he didn't like um, Arkham City because he's just be, he'd just be zooming around like gliding a little bit, but he didn't have the zooming sound. around at the speed of sound. Couldn't resist. Continue. No place to go. How to fall on my rainbow. rainbow. Um. I like the little spin of uh, Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder used to be put on that. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, just got to yarl it. Yarl it out. <laughs> okay, so Michael Mazza and yeah. the Arkham game. So he, he wouldn't... He didn't get like the fast grapple till later, so he wouldn't be zooming way above buildings and he'd just be like gliding around and then he'd... It's the bat! And then just get shot to shit. <laughs> and he, he hated it. Your own mom is not gonna recognize you. Oh, great. Thanks, Vin PC. Are you... Are you... This ends now. Swear to me. Oh, that was ridiculous. Well, now we're at a huge deficit for... I think this is when you get the ginger. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know where to go, viewing audience. And here I say I'm loving this game. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's fine. That's why we're going to BK. Yeah, I'm down. God, this new mic is so sick. Cause I haven't been on the show for six months. Like I, yeah, I had been no quite idea a while. he got this new chrome dildo looking mic. Marco calls it the dild. Oh my god. Did it? It kind of okay, looks cool. like, kind of looks like one of those like chromey silver mics that like Jack White would sing. So it looks all retro. Yeah. Sing into. Coming down from like a from like a string in a studio. Or like on the cover of Ghostface Killer's Supreme Clientele. Oh, that's a good album. That's a great freaking album. Oh, I think Go Ghostface had my favorite solo career out of all the Yeah, oh members. no, me too. Ghostface or Jizza? So those, are my, those are my two favorites yeah. too. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Because Jizza's, Jizza's a genius and Ghostface is just... Uh. Just an angry badass. Yeah. Did we already go down here? I think, god, I I think that was the ginger door. Clue, yeah. I have no clue where to go right now. <laughs> oh, good. I was hoping you could give me some freaking whatevers. Honeycombs. Have you ever eaten the honeycomb cereal? Yeah. How is that? I, I enjoy it. I'm not a big cereal guy, to be honest. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have one of two options. We can either make this an extended episode, or we can cut it and make the boss battle a mini-sode. Special edition extended episode next time on Extra Lives. All right, so in case you couldn't tell by the title, we're fighting Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Yeah, so welcome to the least threatening boss. <laughs> he just Shoot rotates. The dick. Shooting the dick. <laughs> shooting oh. target Zen in the wang, shooting him in the dick. I got shot in the dick. 
That is, you don't shoot a guy in the dick. <laughs> I'm not one to quote South Park, mainly because I'm not a freshman in high school anymore. But I still love me some South Park. See, I don't watch enough South Park. One of my favorite lines, Butters, you don't shoot, shoot a guy in a dick. It's one of the few episodes I've seen. <laughs> he hears that the Chinese are taking over the American economy. So he holds up a P.F. Chang's. It's just so classic. Oh God, you my real Chinese friends. I hate P.F. Chang's. I hate P.F. Chang's. I'm not even a real Chinese. I am no real super Chinese. <laughs> You have no real super set. God, we quote that video so much on I'm the so, show already. I'm sorry, but Dragon Dragon Ball P Dragon's Ball P and PP PP is my favorite. Oh, no doubt. Just there there's Virginia. <laughs> A true saying always sprinkles, sprinkles when he jingles. Hoito 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 hoito. You frisbee monster. You monster frisbee. <laughs> Freezy pop! And his mouth flies off his face. All right, little Tigerman, where are you? <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of that video is uh, when Goku appears and Gohan's like, Daddy! No! Yeah, Fag! And just pushes him off. <laughs> That's the best reaction to someone's son ever. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, I better not die here. This is bad. You can do this, this is bad. I believe I got you. careless. Just believe in the heart of the cards. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Excellent. I put my faith in the heart of the cards! And then I got that Exodia piece. Whoa, weird coincidence, right, guys? Oh, no. You won't take no swings at me today, sir. Or ma'am, I don't know. Little Karibo needs, like, his own show. Seriously. Like, I, I want him to be, like, the next Brad Neely. Just end up having a show on Adult Swim. I just, I just don't know if I can get that into China, Illinois as much as I can get into... Oh, great. Yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. Oh, or not. Oh, wow. Oh, jiggy! Alright, so we'll be back to complete the rest of Mayahem Temple next time on Sex Tra Lives. That was a good one. I'd, I'd say so. I like that one. Yeah. You saved, right? Yeah.